Hi, I'm Alex Menemy, and today we're joined by a fresh-faced newcomer to the Conjuring verse, Rory O'Connor. Rory, your character Arnie does not have a good time in this film, does he? <laughs> he doesn't have a good time in this film, which is funny because I had a really good time filming this film. Um, on the first day of the read-through, Vera came in and she just high-fived every single person in the room and said, Conjuring 3, baby. So I knew it was, I had a suspicion it was going to be a good time, um, which is strange because it is really, really dark. My character, yeah, he's, um, he takes on a demon into himself. He becomes possessed. He ends up, uh, I mean, it's pr pretty obvious from the trailers, he ends up killing someone. He goes to prison. He continues to be haunted and possessed. So, yeah, it sounds like a rough weekend, you know? Maybe he feels like day five after Glastonbury or something. <laughs> a priest blessed the set of a previous Conjuring film. Did anything like that happen this time? Yeah, they did. I wasn't there on the first day of filming, but they brought a priest in for sure. They... I don't know, exercise the demons of the last production. I think Marvel films were in there before. And um, I love that. It really feels like it's adding to the world. But, you know, I thought it was just kind of pageantry and, and theatrical. But, but people like Vera, that's a very important and, you know, a genuine thing they're doing because they really have a genuine belief. And I was like, uh-oh, how am I going to believe in this if I'm so scientifically minded and cynical? Um, which definitely was trying. Did Vera try and convince you? No, she never tried to convince me because she just comes with gentle suggestions up to you, you know, like last night, this, this kind of strange thing happened with her incredible, warm, truthful eyes. And I'm like, oh, yes, ghosts do exist. Of course, I don't need any objective evidence anymore. You know, I trust anything that woman says. What did she say to you about this, this experience? She, I, I can't remember what she said specifically about this one, but on all the other ones, something has happened that has been odd or intriguing. And I think her brain is just so, she's just looking for that stuff all the time. And I'm really jealous because I had to kind of construct this weird mental illness, um, pretending that the, the demon in front of me was really in my head, but not in my head. And it's very convoluted. I'd much rather just believe in ghosts. <laughs> that would be easier. In your next film, you're playing Buddy Holly. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yeah. So um, we're hoping to start shooting Buddy Holly in the fall. And it tells the story of him just kind of on the cusp of fame all the way through um, his ill-fated uh, tour of stars to, um, well, to, to, to dying in a plane crash. I almost feel strange saying it as if it's a ghost or something. I mean, it's been like 60 years. Maybe it's okay to talk about it. Um, it's funny because I'm terrified of flying as well, so that's not going to help. Are you going to be singing the songs, playing them? Yeah, yeah. So I've, yeah, I've been playing guitar for years, writing really bad music for slightly less amount of years. So it's going to be great to, you know, get up on stage and pretend that I wrote these incredible songs. He's an, well, an incredible musician. I've just become obsessed with the Beatles again and just think they're the start of everything. And then you realize how much they drew from Buddy Holly. So it's really exciting, the birth of rock and roll. It's, yeah, I can't wait to get doing it. Yeah, and Nelly's playing Chuck Berry, isn't he? Have you, uh, have you seen pictures of him in costume yet? No, no, uh, no pictures of Nelly in costume um, yet. But hopefully soon, I'm really excited for that. That's, I mean, what a musician. I've been, I've been listening to his music constantly ever since he was cast as a way of feeling like I'm on set and also just because they're so good. Have you got to chat to him about it yet? And maybe at a table read or something like that? No, I think it'll be a, a little while before I'm chatting to Nelly, but that'll be a big moment for me for sure. Genuinely, like what a, what a cultural monument he, he, you know, he has been. So very, very exciting. That sounds great. Thanks so much for speaking to me, Rory. Thank you, Alex. That was great. Thank you.